Hi, it's Emily from CSM, and I'm going to show you how I created this character and imported the rig into Roblox. So first I wanted to generate an image for this character. Um, I wanted a cute little robot, so I used CSM's text to image option, and then I went and got 3D. I used the sculpt with textures and set all the parameters I want. For Roblox, you're going to want to do a low poly. Um, Roblox only takes I think 10k tries um, and then here I am using our retexturing tool to fix up any blemishes on the character. So once you have your character already you're going to import him into Blender and I am just using the decimation. Uh, modifier to lower the triangles um, even though it was lower poly than what it would be as a high poly it still was over the 10k uh, mark for roblox so i just decimated it down to 9k um, and here i'm evening him out on the grid and setting the origin point uh, on the bottom this will help with uh, mixamo and importing him into roblox correctly when exporting, export as an FBX and then hit the copy for path mode and the little printer button next to it. This will copy the textures when you import it into Mixamo. And then name it to whatever you want to name it and then export it. The next step is to upload it to Mixamo. You can skip this part um, in this video if you already know how to use Mixamo, but what you're going to do is upload that FBX of your character. Um, he should be facing front, but if not, you can change the orientation um, with these buttons. And then click next, and then place the uh, little target spots. Um, you can see on the right hand side there's an image of an example of where you should put it. Um, just place them right. And then on the bottom, you can select the different fingers options. If your character has like a mitten or only has like three fingers, two fingers, whatever, or no fingers, uh, make sure you select to whatever your character has. My character has all fingers, so I'm just going to use the basic one. And then click next and your character should look all right. If not, maybe retry. For the animations, you're going to want a run and an idle animation. I chose, I think, one of these idles. And when you download it, you want to keep the skin on. Um, and then for the run, make sure you select the in place so your character is not moving. When you upload the animation, um, your character needs to be in, in place. So open up Roblox Studio and just select a random template or if you have a game go ahead and select your game that you have but I did not have a game on hand so I'm just using this basic template. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press the import 3D and you're going to select one of your animation that you have. I did the idle, it doesn't really matter. It's just to import the rig. Um, here I selected the idle and you'll see in a second that I get an error, but on this page you don't need to change anything. Um, you can select options to make sure your rig looks okay. Um, but yeah, you don't need to change this rig type or anything. Just press continue. But you'll see in a second that I get this error and I can tell you how to fix it if you also run into this issue. This error is really easy to fix. All you're going to do is just rename that file um, and then re-upload it. I don't know why this happens, um, but it does fix the issue. So the first thing you'll want to do is click on the down arrow on your character and delete some of these photo folders. I don't think you need them. I don't know what happens if you keep them, but just in case I deleted them anyways.
So the next step is you're going to want to make a part. It's going to be a square and resize it to fit the entirety of your character's torso from like shoulder to uh, right above the pelvis. Um, and you're going to rename it humanoid root part. Make sure you have the letters capitalized and the spelling correct or it's not going to work. Also, go ahead and rename your character to starter character and make sure it's spelled correctly as well. Go ahead and click on that square and then go down to transparency and just turn it to one. Next, drag the humanoid root part onto the starter character so it should now be underneath the drop down of the starter character. Go to the starter character and hit the plus sign and add a humanoid. When you click on humanoid, you're going to change the hip height and this walk speed, um, change it to just guess at this moment. Um, you're going to be changing it on and off throughout this. And then go ahead and change the rig type to R15. There should be a starter player folder. Go to the starter player scripts and click the plus sign and add a script. Here you're going to paste the code that I put in the description on this video and paste it here and then enter that same number you put as your, your hip height in the spot here. Press play and you should see underneath workspace you should see a folder or a drop down that I think is your gaming tag and then you're going to copy the script that says animate. You're going to stop and then go back to your character and under starter character script just paste it right on there so you now you should have a drop down that's called animate as well click on your character and then go to avatar and then animation editor and you should see an animation editor pop up on the bottom go to the three little dots on the side and you'll click import and then fbx animation and you're going to select i did my idol first so i selected my idol and it should pop up on the animation editor. The animation should pop up on the bottom. I like to play through it just to make sure everything looks good. The auto looping should already be on. We're gonna keep it on for the for this animation. Hit the three little dots and then select uh, animation priority. And I'm gonna set this as idle and then I'll publish it to Roblox. Just na name it to whatever is best for you and then press publish and there will be an ID you'll want to copy for later. So now you're going to go back on the right hand side and find that animate tab you just pasted and find idle and paste that idle into both of those animations. I think you can do different ones but I like to keep it the same so there's less confusion. Just paste that copy paste that ID code into that spot. So for the run, you're going to do the same exact thing. Keep the loop on, but set this to a different action. I set it as the first action and then publish it to Roblox and then copy the ID and then paste that ID underneath the walk and the run. The walk and the run has to be the same or it will not work. So for this next one, you're going to need a plugin, but I listed it in the description you're going to select your humanoid root part your mesh and then hit create joints so if you select the mesh you're going to scroll down all the way down to the collision section and you're going to turn off all the check boxes here and then you're going to change the collision fidelity to i think precise and it might take a second to load, uh, just be patient with it. Next, we're going to make sure that the character is actually existing. So we're going to select the entire starter character drop down and drop it onto the starter pack. And then you're going to see it disappear and then click play and just double check to see if the character is there or moving. Um, as you can see, my character is going through the floor. We'll fix that in a second. Um, and he's also moving like super slow, but his idle is working and his run is working as well. 
So to fix some of these problems that you might run into, first off, I want to change the size of the character. So I'm going to drop him back into workspace so I can see him, and then I'm going to resize him. Um, this will change the hip height, um, but we'll change that here in a second. But he is now <laughs> at a decent height and just level him to the ground. When you're done with that, drag your starter character back to the star player folder and click on the humanoid uh, folder and change the hip height again. You can guess at any random number, but you can see it changed it to a two something because of the scale difference. But just guess at a number um, and make sure you change it in the script as well. Um, so make sure they are identical numbers at all time or it might cause issues. Um, and then press play and see if your character is even touching the ground or not. As you can see, my character is still hovering, so I'm going to have to play with this a bit. One thing I will say, if your animations aren't working, make sure you did the couple of things of like, maybe try republishing to Roblox or setting the animation to a particular type like I showed you earlier. Um, and make sure that the uh, animation ID is in the correct spot. And if the ID doesn't work, try the link that's underneath the ID as well. This might help. So I want to custom jump. So I'm going to hit humanoid and turn on jump. And then also I'm going to change the jump power underneath humanoid as well. Um, I set it to something pretty high and you can always change this later on. So the animation for a jump is kind of tricky, but if you go back to Mixamo, select a jump that's just a jump up, so it's not the initial jump, it's just the in-air jump. This is what you're going to want. Download this and then do the same thing that you did before, but as the jump. When you upload the jump animation, you make sure you set the loop looping animation off. I accidentally set it on when I first published it, and it doesn't work correctly when your character goes to jump. It like glitches a bit. So when you do when you do this, make sure you turn off the loop button and then publish it to Roblox and it should work all right. But you don't want a looping on this animation. It's like one of the few you don't want looping on. And then just copy the ID and put it underneath the jump. Also for this, make sure you set the animation type as a different action from your idle and your running so they don't mesh together um, and they won't work. Once you have this all working, you can always change the settings for the walk speed and the jump height or power. Um, you can set it higher, or lower, whatever you want for your character. Um, and then you'll have a pretty functional character using a custom rig. So check out CSM to create your own uh, one of a kind character for Roblox. And I hope this video helped. Bye guys.